Hi Twin Flames, welcome back to my channel. This is your weekly energy forecast for November 27th through the end of the week. We're going to be going into December, folks. That's cool. Um, so before we begin, I have something important to do. We're going to draw the prize from last week's winner. So every single week, we're going to be picking one of the people who comments below something nice, not naughty, and those that person will win my channeled holiday message from your twin flame. So let's see who last week's winner was. So number two, so let's go look and see who number two is. Okay. So number two, Stephanie! Stephanie, congratulations! Stephanie, you won a reading. So great work. Congratulations, Stephanie. I will be reaching out to you. So for this week's winner, don't forget to comment under this video. You can ask a question. Any comment will do. And I will be pulling the prize next week for this week. All right, so I have the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. This is a beautiful deck that I bring out, obviously, once a season. And yeah, I'm decked out. I'm ready. It's not December yet, and I'm already ready. I've got my Christmas tree up. Cat's knocked it down already, but hopefully they'll learn. All right. So let's see what's coming out Monday. Okay, that's that's Monday's card. Monday, you got this one, Forest. It is without question a place of mystery, whispers of power you've forgotten. Let thy strength crawl from beneath the ground and remind you, dear child, you are magic. So for Monday, remember that sometimes your external reality does not... Uh, indicate what's really going on. So you're still kind of crawling through some dark energy, heavy energy. I don't want you to give it any power. You know, giving something power only amplifies it, but the moment that you stop giving something power, it vanishes, and that's how you know something is an illusion. When you stop giving it power and it disappears, then it wasn't real to begin with. So just like the monsters under a child's bed, they're not real, and if a child believes in them, they're going to feel scared. But the moment that they stop feeding that energy, then that experience goes away. Let's see what's happening on Tuesday for Twin Flames. I'm getting more into Twin Flame. I'm kind of feeling like, you know, some of you have been working through a, a block, but it does feel like it's coming to a, a head. Like it's leaving. Like there's you're at the tail end of it, not, not at the climax of it. You're... You, kind of healed that in many places. Okay. Interesting. Telling stories. What words so tender can be spoken so bravely unless they are true form, the truest of words? This is, okay, I see what's, what we're building a little story here. You've got the forest... Those are like your illusions, that like the darkness going through the illusions there, and then the telling stories card. So Monday and Tuesday, watch what stories you're telling yourself. Watch what your mind is doing, and you can start to shapeshift your reality by telling yourself a different story, the story of love. So watch your thoughts. Be like the, you know, the observer of your thoughts. Are you telling yourself, I'll never have my twin flame, I can never be in harmonious union, is that the story that you're telling yourself? Is that what you want to believe? Or are you choosing a different ending for your story, a happy ending for your story? So you get to choose, you decide, you create your reality and you have much more power than you think. You're not a victim of your external experience. You're the creator of your reality. And all it takes is just a journey of healing within in order to create the reality you desire. Let's go to Wednesday. What's happening on Wednesday for Twin Flames? What do you, what energy will you be looking for? So I'm curious if you watched my last week's reading, if the reading came true or if the reading really aligned with your week. So if you do have any comments, that could also be your entry. No double entries. I only count one person's comment. Uh, if you comment 15 things, I'm going to count you once. So 
All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, all right. Wow, this is going to be a very, very good week for inner work. Turning inward. Looks like the ghost of Christmas past here from uh, the um, Charles Dickens story, Christmas Carol. Inside this veil of bone and flesh, I lay my soul to sleep. All the truths within my breath have come to greet me. Good. Oh, man. Like, I think the universe is really hitting it home, really hitting it home, that you create your reality by what you choose on the inside. So you might be, what I'm, what I'm getting from this is um, Monday through Wednesday, you're going to be confronted with something external that's trying to challenge your truth, right? Twin flames are real. You have a twin flame. You cannot explain these coincidences you've be, been seeing or the feeling in your heart. There's a lot of opposition um, from ego, the collective ego, that's saying twin flames aren't real, it's a scam. That's not true and you know it. If I gave up and I listened to those voices, I would not be living with Josh today. Josh is my twin flame. Every time I healed and followed this inner work that I teach, he came closer. It was scientific. It was a process that if then, if then, right, like the mathematical equation, if I did this inner work and continued my journey, then I would be able to be with my twin flame. I didn't control him. In fact, quite the opposite. I had to let go of my control and just love him in my heart, right? And that's what this inner work essentially teaches is it's a, it's a work of love. You will be with your twin flame, but it's not a matter of control or manipulation. It's a matter of surrender to love. So that's what the teachings of union teach. Hopefully, you've explored that and you've experienced many breakthroughs. If you've had a breakthrough recently, please share. Okay. Next card for Thursday. Oh, we got a little frost and a beautiful candle. So yeah, this whole week kind of feels like it's your time to shine, like this light in the darkness, right? If it weren't for the darkness, how could the light of truth shine brightly? This is a week for you to just kind of really go within and have a lot of boundaries with all of those naysayers and those voices of dissension and, and you know, non-belief, cackling in the darkness. Like they're like goblins. You just... Form your little snow globe around it and around your heart and bring in warmth to yourself. The darkness cannot quench your light. Ice cold melting in time, a frozen glance at what lies behind, what lies ahead, what lies within, and the chilling frost of thy undead. So all of this stuff, like if you look at the candle in the picture, that's you on your twin flame journey really being persistent and committed to the truth of love. Do not give up. Because we got three more days left. This is Thursday. So, yes. Monday through Wednesday. It's actually, you know, it looks like it's going to be a challenge. But how difficult do you think this candle is staying lit? Not difficult at all. Not difficult at all. Just choosing low. There we go. Okay, we've got our Friday card. Yay! We come through it on Friday. Wreath. So you got Wreath. There is the circle of life, there in the circle of life tends to breathe death. One is not without the other, eternally bound by the essence of spirit. So your wreath is a, it's a circle, right? All of your healing has cycles. So you might be working through a block of abandonment and you're starting to feel better, starting to feel better. And then, ah, you break three, free and you feel great and you feel wonderful. And it's, a, it's safe to receive that. But then the next block arrives and don't worry, you're not on a hamster wheel going nowhere. You are, it's more like a spiral. If you've ever heard of spiral dynamics, you might come around to the same block, but you're going to be at a different place than before and then heal it again. So it does happen in cycles. And um, now that I'm in my union, Josh and I can almost predict our cycles are maybe like two weeks apart where we'll have like a, a block reveal itself. Let's keep going. So this is, we're starting to turn up the energy towards the end of the week. All of your hard work and being persistent and not listening to the voices of fear that are coming inside and outside really 
Oh, one, one bit of advice I want to give you is pull close to those who support your journey. Don't let people like goblins or trolls uh, take you away from love. That's, that's a really important lesson for you, Twin Flames. Don't, don't let that happen. Like you see this, this message being communicated in all the fairy tales, which do have an element of truth. Um, if you remember Peter Pan, you know, Tinkerbell, people stopped believing in her and she was losing her energy. And all you needed to do was like clap, right? Keep believing. Oop, there we go. Oh, nice. Beautiful. We got silent night. Here we go. So all those kind of voices of fear are on Saturday going to kind of die down. Here's a secret for you. Love has infinite power. Fear doesn't. So no matter what voices are in your head that tell you they bark really loud, they're, they're, they're not going to last because there's no energy behind them. There's not an infinite well of energy behind them. Only love has an infinite energy source. Only love. And so this card, Silent Night, beautiful, you're kind of coming back into peace. It's a card of peace. If by night the world should sleep, a sleep so deep, the silence be deafening, the, wo the wood sound nothing, there would sound nothing at all, at all, sorry, <laughs> This is a poetic card. At all, nothing would sound. Let me read it again so we don't jumble that. If by night the world should sleep, a sleep so deep the silence be deafening, there would sound nothing at all. At all, nothing would sound. Yes, so you've reached Saturday. You've held strong. All those voices of dissension, whether external or, or, or internal, will start to subside. Just persist, right? All right, here we go. Last card for Sunday. What's going on for you on Sunday? We got beautiful. Ooh -wee. Cardinal medicine. And look, there's two birds. Thy self bleeds of sacredness and honor fit for the gods. You are worth all the seas and all the skies and all the desires you hold inside. Be proud of yourself. You made it to Sunday. Be proud of yourself. If you need to come back to this video, if you're having a tough day, come Wednesday, come in the middle of the week, watch this video, watch to the end. You're going to be rewarded for your hard work and for staying with love and staying with faith and having trust in your twin flame journey. Trust the journey. Trust your twin flame. Trust that what they're showing you is just a block to heal. Trust the teachings of union. You don't, you know, no one's forcing you to trust them, but it feels really bad not to trust. And I'm telling you, I stayed the course and I got the fruit from my labor, right? You will too. Trust your harmonious union. Don't forget to comment. Enter, enter for a chance to win that prize. And I will see you next week. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.